paper lovers, it's Sarah, and it's time for another Terrific Tuesday Challenge over on the Scrappy Moms blog. I'll put a link down in the description box so you can play along. Um, uh, the theme this week is to make any kind of St. Patrick's Day project. So I'm making a card using the um, Leprechaun Bear from the Teddy Bear Parade cartridge. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> All of my pattern papers I'm using is from the 6x6 My Mind's Eye Lime Twist. It's the Fly a Kite collection. There's a lot of pattern, um, a lot of patterns going on in this card. So I went ahead and I inked everything with the Tim Holtz Tea Dye Distress Ink just to kind of set the patterns apart from each other. My card is four and a quarter by five and a half, and this is Paper Tray Inks Craft Card Stock. I'm going to set this aside. I have a couple mats here. This um, yellowish goldish color is four by five and a quarter. And then I have this cloud paper that is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And then I have this little green border and it's one inch by um, five and one eighth. And this is gonna go right down here at the bottom of our cloud paper. And before I hear this down to the gold, I'm going to add some honeydew twine. And this also can be purchased on the Scrappy Moms blog. And I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this around three times. I can go ahead and adhere this down to my yellow mat and then I will adhere my yellow mat down to my card base. Okay, so I have my card base all ready to go and I'm going to go ahead and stamp my inside sentiment first before I get going. I am using the Scrappy Mom set called Spring Fling and I'm going to stamp it with Happy St. Patrick's Day. Let's see, let me grab my Fiskars stamp press. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it with just black ink. I don't like how this stamped. I don't think I put enough ink on it. So I am going to, after the video is over, I will stamp it on some cardstock and I'll show you the picture at the end of how I fixed it. Okay? So let's just move on, pretend like that never happened. And I'll go ahead and finish the outside of my card. Clean off that stamp. Okay. Let's see. First thing I want to do is I am, let's see, I'm using the Create a Critter 2 cartridge and I've cut this cloud right here and this cloud is found on page 59 and I cut it at 4 inches and I'm going to stamp my sentiment on there. Let me just grab my block because I don't want to mess around with cleaning that off. I'm using that same stamp set. I'm going to go ahead and stamp You're My Pot of Gold. Okay. 
Now let's start building the card. My cloud is going to go right about there. And then I've cut the rainbow that is on page 39. I just cut the bottom layer because I cut it out of the stripy paper, so I thought that, you know, kind of gave it the rainbow look. And I cut it at 2.5. And let's see, I kind of kind of line this up where I want it. Right there. I'm going to leave my little cloud there as best as I can. And I'll go ahead and put my ATG on my rainbow. Okay, so I have my rainbow where I want it. And now, <coughs> excuse me, I am going to add some foam to the back of my cloud. Okay, so my cloud is all on my little foam adhesive. And now I'm going to stick that down right like that. Okay. Now I have, um, let's see, my little bear that I was telling you about from the Create a Critter cartridge. And I cut him at 2.5. And I added this little green rhinestone to the center of his bow tie. And he is going to go right here. Let me go ahead and stick him down. Okay, so I have my bear down. Um, before I um, add my pot, I am going to bunch my twine here. And let's see if I can find my twine on my desk. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to grab just a little piece of the twine. And tie this here. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this off. And I thought about adding a flower, but I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to add this little bow that I have here tied. Yeah, I've got so much going on on this card. I think the flower is just a little bit too big. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this bow that I've tied out of that twine. Okay, now here's my little pot of gold. And this is also on page 39 of the Creator Critter 2 cartridge, and I cut it at 3 inches. I cut the, I just cut the pot. There's also a layer on the back that has um, yellow for, it looks like gold. I just cut the pot, and I cut it out of this brown polka dot paper, and then I cut it again out of craft cardstock, and I just cut the top off uh, just to make it look like the pot had, you know, the inside or the top of it. And I just uh, went ahead and tied some more of that twine around it, made a bow. I'm going to pop this up on some foam squares. Oh, shoot. I put my bear in the wrong spot. I'm going to pop my pot up on some foam squares because my little bear is going to be coming out of the pot of gold. So let me get this on some foam, and then we'll fix my uh, bear. Okay, so I have my pot with the um, foam on the back of it. And I needed to move my bear up a little bit. Let's see. And obviously, you're not going to see any of that bottom part of the bear. I didn't have to put that stuff on, but I wasn't thinking when I did it. Okay, so there's the pot. And then we can press our bear down. Okay, so there's my card for the Scrappy Moms. Um, St. Patrick's Day Challenge, you're my pot of gold. And then, like I said, I'll fix the sentiment on the inside. Okay? Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a blessed day.